prostitute. Where are you coming from? Michael, why would you address me, your wife, in such a derogatory manner? That does not answer my question. Where are you coming from? Of course, you're drunk again. I'm coming from work office. I have loads of work to do today, so. What kind of stupid work makes a married woman come back by 8 p.m.? Eh? Prostitute. Office prostitute. I would have been back earlier if you didn't put me through stress this morning that made me almost lose the only job that puts food on our table. How dare you talk to me in that tone? Eh? So you're not the man of the house because you have a job and I don't, eh? Look at me, I'm tired. I just don't want to go through the stress. I don't have the strength for your wahala this night, please. You have been reading Ella's bedtime story since she's a toddler. I know. You know you're spoiling her, right? She's grown now. <laughs> I know. She's just so used to it. And then, you know, let her enjoy your attention. You know, I don't mind reading it for her till she becomes a woman and changes her last name. But for now, <laughs> let her enjoy that is love. It's fine. <sighs> so tell me, how was um, your day? What was the high point? Well, the major highlight of today is... Guess what? What? My parents are finally visiting. You're joking. No, I'm not joking. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's good news. <laughs> so after all these years with the drama and everything, they finally accepted this year, but have you? I came to take them. their daughter away. Can you blame them? I mean, eight years of marriage without no problems. They already accepted you. Both done well, babe. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Ella is excited too. Of course she is. She told me about really like it and got in from her. Daddy, guess what? I said, what? What's going on? Grandma is coming. Grandma is just, <laughs> Grandma is just coming. I'm like, calm down. Take it easy. You'll be grandma. You know, it's good. So when did they say they're coming? In two days. That's enough time to prepare for the arrival. Well, fair enough. That's a good time. So you, husband, how was your day? Easy. Hmm. You see, I am tired. I have this little migraine here. I don't know, but today work. Good morning, sir. Yeah, morning, Vicky. How are you? Fine. Just give me a second. Let me just send this mail. Okay. Yeah, sent. So, um, these are the files from the um. Victoria. What's with the dark shades? Um, I have an eye infection. All right, take 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 the shades out. Let me see. Let me see. What happened to you? Did, did you did you get into a fight? No, um, it's just. Minor accident. It's nothing serious. Well, now it's an accident. You told me it was an eye infection. Now it's an accident. Let me look at it. This is not good. I'm sorry. I have to leave. I heard you're forgetting something. Come 
dice la No me dice la You're back early. That's good. Um, I I feel sticky. I need to go take a shower. Look, I'm sorry that I did this to you. I need prayers. I swear I didn't mean to do this to you. Victoria, I love you. I just want to do right by you. Michael, all I need you to do is go out there and fetch a job. Any job. So we can get back to how we used to be. I can't recognize the man I fell in love and married anymore. Look at you! First class engineer. Now what? Stay at home drunk? Today you came back early. Mr. DG decides to bombard your phone with calls. Michael, I don't want you talking about. Sit down. Why? Did you call in your phone? 
Mr. Digi is my boss. How would I know? Seamlessly. <laughs> so when you are not with your rich boss, you decide to come back home to your stay-at-home drunk, Abby? I made a breakfast. All right. Please try and eat something. I'm not hungry. If you carry on this way, you will develop palsy. That's not good. I don't want to eat anything. Ah, uh, no. Come on now. You'll have to try. Okay. At least, can you just take a look at it? It's still here, just in case you change your mind. I'm off to work. I'm running late as it is. See you later. Yeah, morning. What's the matter with you? You don't look too good. What? You're not going to say anything. Huh? What is it? Peter, what happened? So talk to me. What, what happened to you? Who did this to you? Husband. Hey, no, sit, 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 sit. Just sit. Sit. What happened? I got very upset when you called last night and accused me of having an affair with you. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Look, I, I called to tell you that unfortunately I lost my in-laws and I won't be coming to work early today, that's why I called, but is, is that why he beat you up like this? It's okay, it's not entirely okay. You know what, uh, you'll have to go to the, to the clinic. You, you don't look good. Alright, all experts would be taken care of by the company. Thank you so much. It's fine, and Thank just, you know, you. take the rest of the day of rest, and when you get to the clinic tomorrow, after treatment, rest as well. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. Thank it's you. It's okay. And if at any point you need me to call your husband to have a word with him, I'll, I'll be quick to oblige you. Uh, you don't have to. Thank you, sir. Okay. Hey, you know? 
Do you know how long it's been? Huh? Please stop. 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 Look, look, I'm gonna be easy on you, okay? Because I know how you feel. No, not today. Are you serious? What, what do you want me to do now? what's going on here right now it's it's, 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 it's aching me huh please <laughs> Wow. <laughs> How do you know that I'm here? Remember, I'm the reason the doctor agreed to see you in the first place. Uh, you forgot? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can get any information I want. How are you? I'm better. You're better? That's good. <laughs> I'm you. I just feel so sorry for you. I know a woman deserves deal with the kind of emotional and physical abuse that you're dealing with. Especially not a beautiful woman like you. Look, don't get me wrong, I'm not I'm not in a position to tell you what to do with your private life. I know for sure that you you deserve better. I'm so grateful. Show me this much care and attention in a long while. The kind of man that any woman would kill to have. Really? Don't you care to have?
How's work? Oh, work was fine. Honey, I, I want to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Please forgive me. Michael, you always apologize and still go back to do the same old thing. I swear this time I mean it. Sorry. All right, come on, let's go back to the way we used to be, please. I'm sorry. this long face? Do you want to kill yourself with sadness? It's hard, Carol. I'm trying to come to terms with the fact that both my parents are gone forever. It's affecting everything, Carol. I don't feel like doing anything. I don't have interest in anything. My home, my work, my mood. Even sex. Teachers complaining so bad, but I'm just drained. See, my dear, I clearly understand. I need you to be strong. Please, put yourself together. What has happened has happened. All you pray need from me right now are your prayers. I know. I know. It's just... I can't help but blame myself. If they didn't try to come see me, they would still be alive. See, I don't want you to chase your husband away. You know all those hungry vampires are out there. Please, let them not go and snatch him from you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, finally you have made me laugh. Thank you for that. <laughs> but no. Deji cheating on me is the last thing I'm worried about. He cannot do anything like that. He knows better. No. Mm -hmm. My husband is beginning to act really weird. Are you serious? Yeah. What? How, how do you mean? He apologized for everything he has been doing and he's starting to show concern. I don't understand that. But that's a good thing. Yeah, it's good. You're joking, right? No, I'm not joking, I'm serious. I mean, a man who, who's been terrible to you, treats you shabbily, and suddenly decides to turn a new leaf or wants to be nice to you. I think you should be happy already. He's your husband. <laughs> you joke a lot. Please, babe. I'm not joking, I'm serious. I'm gonna go back to my desk before I'm not gonna mess that away. It's okay, and then remember to come back here when they're gone. Hmm? No problem. That was great, by the way. You're not, you're not helping, all right? You're not just put your hands, please. Your hands are rough, really. Just please, some space. That'll be nice, really. Thank you. Look, you're not, you're worse than, look, your hands are rough and you're all up in my you know, space. I'm tired. Have, you know, let's do this thing. Probably towards the end of next month, we'll try. Ah. You're not tired. Tired. Try again later. 
Turn off the lights, please. Hello, handsome. Hey, Victoria, no, stop, 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 stop. Not, not now, not, not today, all right? I, I have work here to do and I need to concentrate and, and have it done. Okay, concentrate and I'm here. Victoria, please. Stop! I just told you I have work to do and I like to think that you have work as well to do, to do right? So please go, do it. So, I believe you don't have my time today. You. I am. Mm -hmm. Very surprised. And you brought lunch. Aha. <laughs> babe. Babe. <laughs> Come on now. Let's see. Mm-hmm. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. I think I was just, you know. Thinking of um, signing a few checks and then head out for lunch and then boom, you're here. Ah, I am pleased. You know, I, I think I think you should, you know, do this more often. It will be great. Or better still, move into here as your cool. Good idea. I could make <laughs> space for one. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey. Yeah. Our picture is usually there. Why is it? What was it? What do you mean? Did someone take it out or the wind just blew it? I, I don't know. It's it sits right there, right? It's usually there. So where is it? <laughs> this is ridiculous. It was it's always been here, right? I have to go. Ah, sweetheart, you know, one second. Hold on a second, please. Amaka? Where's Victoria? Okay, I want both of you here now. Yes. So I just calm down, all right? Let's, let's ask questions. Let's see. Come, 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 come. Did any of you see a portrait picture of my wife and myself that usually sits here? Did you, did you see it? No, sir. I don't know anything about it. How about you, Victoria? Did you see it? No, I did not. Sir. Both of you did not. Alright, I do know that I leave this office open for both of you to lock up after I leave. There will be answers. We'll, 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 we'll talk about this later. Okay? You can leave. So loud. You know what? I have to pick up Ella, so... 
I'll just look, leave look, you. Look, 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 calm down now. All right, look. You know how these things can get? They come in here when I'm not here to clean this place up and then move a few things around. But I will find it. Good. Keep looking for it. I can't beg. <laughs> what now? No, no hugs, no, no kisses, nothing. Why the hell didn't you tell me that your wife was coming? Hmm? I'm supposed to inform you, Victoria, that my wife is coming to my office. As your woman, I deserve to know. <laughs> she calls herself my woman. <laughs> Victoria, you're not my woman. Right. And you did not deserve a heads up before my wife comes to see me. You know what? I think we should um, slow down. Oh, yeah. Possibly take a break. Did I just hear you say a break? Oh, yeah. You, you heard me. You see this thing? You're beginning to take it too seriously. But you see this that we've been doing? It's all shades of wrong. It has to stop. <laughs> you really don't want to mess with me. Because if you do, your beautiful wife will know all about us. And you don't want that, do you? Victoria, you are a married woman, and I'm pretty sure that you have something to lose. But if you want us to wash our dirty linens out, be my guest. Did she be an unhappy married people that are happy That's true. together? Don't you see? Where's my portrait? I trashed it. Mm -hmm. What? You didn't expect me to tell you that in front of Amaka and your wife? Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry I lied. Uh. Certain you wouldn't want your entire staff, your wife, and your daughter to find out how you have been sleeping with me in your office. This table, precisely. You don't want to play this game with me. I decide when it's over. Welcome 
What's this? Open it and find out. What? They want to speak with Yes. I want a divorce. I'm tired of everything. You're making my life miserable. Victoria, but I apologized. I haven't laid my hands on you since then. Please. I've made up my mind. Just sign the damn papers. You really want us to get a divorce? Michael, I am tired of this marriage. All you do is lay around doing nothing while I walk my butt off day and night to feed your lazy ass. And on top of that, what do you do? You maltreat me! Please, I don't love you anymore. I'm done beating this dead horse. Victoria. Baby. I am sorry for everything I have done in the past. It's too late, Michael. Baby, look. It's too late! Just sign the damn papers! Is this what you really want? Yes. Yes, please. Hey. One second, let me just turn. Uh, you okay? I filed for a divorce. What did you say? I and Michael are no longer together. I moved out of the house. You told me that if you and your husband that anyone fights, why would you just up and leave? Well, it's already too late. I'm already tired of the whole marriage. <laughs> okay. All right. So now that you've told me, what do you want me to do? I need an accommodation. A place to stay. Right, fine. I'll help you with some cash. You check into a hotel. Um, just stay there for a while, depending when you find a place. A hotel? Yeah. Heck no. I'm very much aware that you have a guest house. So that will do just fine. For now. People will save it when they find out that you stay at my guest house. Same thing they will say when they find out about our affair eventually. <sighs> I don't understand. Why are you so upset? I was expecting to see a huge smile on your face. But finally, a free woman. All you need to do now is leave that woman. Leave your wife. 
who will be together. Hmm, baby? Think about it. Thank you. I knew I could count on you. I love you. So much. Does this is film chef? Yeah. Uh, you don't want to pick your calls? No one of importance. Who is gay? She doesn't deserve you. Oh, let us be together. No. You should take the call. Please, we're having a moment. This phone call cannot come on. Still a moment. Come on. Come on, baby, pick up. I need to talk to you. You just take the call already. It's actually late, you know. It's time to turn off the phone and go to sleep. Maybe he's not with his phone. Right? Switch off! That's what problem. That's what problem.
call me. Victoria. I'm a family man. Now that means that weekends and nights are off limits to phone calls. You don't call me at those times of spending time with my family. And if I don't, what will happen? You're treating me unfairly. When you saw my miss call, why didn't you call back? Anyway, I wanted to show you this. It's gorgeous. you like it? What? You? You tattooed my name on your, on your arm? Are you out of your mind? Deji, you're hurting me. Deji, get that thing off your hand! Do it now! Look, look, I don't care how you get me on that thing. If you're going to cut your hand, if you're going to play it off, get... Let me not say that again. Never. What is wrong with you? What do you take me for? A toy that you can just toss around with? Oh boy, you had better think again, because that one no go happen. What is this? Now, have you lost your mind? Do you realize that I'm a married man? And so are you! When you were tossing my legs east, west, north, and south, you weren't aware that we were married? <laughs> you didn't realize that? Oh, God. <sighs> well, I have good news for you. You're expecting a baby. We are pregnant. You're what? I'm carrying your child. Awesome. Victoria, it's confirmed. You're insane. To think that you're carrying a child of mine in your womb. You've lost your mind. Because you're someone's wife, you're married. If at all you find yourself pregnant, I'm not responsible. Talk to your husband about it. And you see that nonsense that you put on your arm. Let this be the last time you walk into this office with that thing. Get rid of it. Joker. Bloody Joker. Big bloody Joker.
Thank you. I know I don't deserve this. I don't. I've put too much. Too much and you're not giving me back. You can't, you can't break my heart. No. You can't. You won't. I've lost too much. I give you, I give you everything. What more do you want me to do? What more? Before you break me, I will break everything you love. I will break you. I will, I will destroy everything, everything you ever want for, everything you love, everyone you love. Hi. Um, I'm looking for maybe a foundation, my color. I think you should try it. No, it is new. It's uh, it's new, but uh, like a little year. Ah, it's quite expensive, sure. It's nice. <laughs> Let's try it. Really? Mm -hmm. I think you should go for the modifying foundation. Yeah, you gave me one before. Give it to me again. Okay. Uh, all, right. all right. Thank you. Evil woman. Look at her. Looking all innocent. Meanwhile, she has used all the witchcraft, all the Otsumoko in Igbo land to trap my man down. Ugly witch. You are no match for me. I will deal with you. I will deal with you. I've never been that scared and assaulted all my life. It was so scary. You know, I think she just mistook you for someone else, really. That's what I believe. You know? Her face, though. Her face, what? 
was with her face. You know, she had a cap and glasses on. Mm -hmm. But I could swear I have seen that face somewhere. I just can't figure out where or when. Uh, I, I just think you should have it out next to see her just it's probably one one of them is that on trolls that you're following them. So she'll be allowed to know it is possible. And then, then did she recognize you and decided to walk up to you? <laughs> you a lot of cycles around. Yeah, maybe. Like, stop this mundane topic of it. Would you like to, you know, share a bottle of wine? Oh, I don't mind. Victoria, why? Why are you messing with my wife? Why are you stalking her? Why are you following her about? Oh, she told you. Oh yeah, she did. Mm. I hope you told her that we are expecting a baby boy. Did you? Leave us alone. Jenny, leave us alone. Leave me, leave me alone. Leave my family and I alone. I should leave your family alone? Yes! After you have succeeded in destroying my Listen and listen real good. If I don't have you, nobody else will. Get it? That's it. You're fired. Effective immediately, Victoria, you're fired. Get out of my office right now. Leave. You're fired. Effective immediately. Get out of my office. <laughs> Pray tell. What do you intend to tell the board that's your reason for firing me? Don't worry, I'll wait. Ah, hmm? oh, I thought as much. Absolutely nothing. You know why? Because you're very smart. Your image, your family, and our jobs are at stake. What have I got? What is this? What is this? Good day, sir. Please, what are you looking for? I want to see your madam. My madam. Okay. Ma? Hi. Hi. Uh, Mrs. Ify Benson, I suppose. Yes, how may I help you? Nah. <laughs> the question is, how may I help you? Um, I'm sorry, my name is Mr. Michael. The husband to the woman your husband has been sleeping with. Excuse me? <laughs> Can I come in? You might have to sit down. Your legs might not carry you after I tell you what I'm about to tell you. Who is she? What? Who is Victoria? Um, maybe. Um, okay. Uh, look, if if you calm down, if you calm down, all right, and let me talk, I will explain. This no. is far from no, what you think no, it no, is. No, 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 it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to explain anything. Okay, you don't have to say anything. I've heard all I need to know. From her husband. Oh yes, he was here today. He introduced himself as the husband of the woman that my husband sleeps with. <laughs> the shit I had today, it will last me a lifetime. Look, I, I, I know how this works already. If I don't talk, look. No, no, not... no, 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 
No, please. Please, I beg you. No more lies, okay? You don't have to stress yourself to lie anymore. My heart cannot take it. I can't take it from you. I'm not lying to you. If you, if you at least just drop the bags and... Well, as you can see, I'm packed. And I'm leaving you. I'll be back for a laugh. Don't touch me! I told you not to touch me with your filthy hands! Don't leave. Please. What do you want me to hear? What did you want me to listen to? That I was here, depressed over myself, mourning my dead parents, and you were busy screwing your staff? Who, by the way, is a married woman? Just get out of my way! I know he did unimaginable. And he also broke your trust. But you can't just opt out like that and leave him. I can't face him. I honestly cannot face him. I was mourning. You know I was mourning. And he was busy having an affair with a married woman. It's just too painful. It's, it's, it's too painful. I can't. I mm. can't. We cannot leave the home that you have suffered to build for almost a decade. Not because of a strange woman. If we, most ladies out there, they're desperate and they're ready to snatch any home that is available. Please, don't be a victim. You know what? I have to go get some stuff from the supermarket. I, I have to go. There we go again. Avoiding this discussion. Go. I'll be here waiting for you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, darling. <sighs> Such a pity. Thank you for moving out. It has given Deji time to think clearly. He now realizes how much he loves me. He wants to spend more time with me and my unborn son. Oops! You didn't know I was expecting a son with him? The nerves that you have. 
to show your useless face in my presence. Have you not gotten what you wanted? Why are you still stalking me? <laughs> oh, your little head must tell you this, that I moved out so that you can come in and take my place. But let me tell you this, honey. You can never take my place in Deji's life. Okay? Listen, I didn't come here to fight with you, okay? So you can relax. As long as you stay far away from my man, you wouldn't have a problem. Get it? I'm the new madame of this house. Where's my husband? Which husband again? Oh my god! What are you doing? Keep moving, keep moving. Stand right here. What are you doing in my house? Huh? You don't address your wife to be like that. Victoria, I did not invite you here. So speak. Why are you in my house? Obviously, I'm moving in. Our baby needs to stay in his father's house, don't you think? Hmm? It's high time now. Hey! Are you done? Read this red bag. I'll get out. No. I'm going away. Oh, yeah. Kick this bag right now. I don't know why you're upset. I know another reason. Throw this man out of this house. Come back here and I'll find you out there. I'll you up. Yes, sir, God. Do you hear me? Yes, sir, God. Dad, 
Dad, I don't understand what is going on in this house anymore. First, mom wakes up one morning and moved out. And now you're here, looking like... With all due respect, Dad, a homeless man. Mommy! I feel glad to see you. Fine. Please forgive me. I know I hurt you. I know I broke your heart in more ways than one, but I need you to forgive me. I miss you. So that I miss you. I can't leave without you. Look at me. I need you. My love, I need you like I need to breathe the air. I need you here with me. Please come back. Stay with me. We can fight this together. I can I show you? My darling, I give you my word right here right now that I will do everything within my power to fix this mess. I know I betrayed our love, baby, but please. Forgive me. Please. I don't want her anywhere near you. I don't want you to have anything to do with that woman anymore. No text, no calls. Deal. You know what? Fire her. Okay. Yes. Let her go. I don't want her to breathe around you. I don't want her to see you. I don't want her existence around you. Look, I could, I could pick up my phone right now and send her a text. I, it's done. If, if that's all you want, if that's what it will take to keep you here, baby, I'll do it. Please forgive me. It's okay. You're terrible. I've missed you too. Welcome home. You know this you know this house of just it's just been a house and not a home since you haven't been here and I have been with you way too long that I don't know how to live without you anymore. It's going to be. Oh my stand here. <laughs> yeah, carry them. Thank you. You are very much aware that I lost my pregnancy the day you pushed me. But instead of you to call, text, visit, send roses, do something to show how sorry you are, what do you do? You ignore my calls all weekend and send me a nasty text message. How dare you? Well, I believe that the message was crystal clear. This establishment, I've decided to let you go. We do not need your services. What? Right here is your termination letter. I know you're surprised. I might be wondering how I pulled off your sack. I'll tell you. My wife and I, very beautiful wife, and I approached the board and told them how you have made our lives impossible, how you're a threat to life, how you stalk her, how you fight her at will. And after much investigations and scrutiny, they decided that it was time to let you go for our own safety. You and your witch of a wife betrayed me as a stalker. 
Right here is also a restraining order from the court stating that you're not allowed to be seen a hundred miles from my wife or myself. And when you go through it, you will find out what the penalties are. If you falter. <laughs> yes, this is what marriage is supposed to be. You know, you work with your husband to eliminate your common enemy. Anyway, <laughs> who came up with this beautiful idea? Duh, me. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know how I came up with it. I just know that it happened and girl, I have you to thank for it. You always have my back 100%. Mm. Girl, you know I love you. I love you too. <laughs> don't make me cry. <laughs> how can you cry over a bottle of wine and some other bottles waiting for you in the fridge? You cannot be crying. Girl. Really? Oh. You're going to drink. Oh, okay. I'm to do like <laughs> Did I get it? My name is Victoria. Victoria isn't getting anything I want. Get out of my house this minute! Says who? You? This is my home! All this belongs to me! to ruin my life. Move! Move it! Any funny move will promise you I'll blow your brains out. Please don't <laughs> Down! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. It's too late. You should need to get out. So that did you can finally completely focus on me. Don't you think? <laughs> you 
feeling that she follows me around. Hello? Uh, yeah, DPO, yes. I'm um, greetings, greetings. Uh, Please, uh, th this is really, really urgent. I would appreciate if you treat it as such. I don't know. Can you please help send some men straight to my house? Yes, some of your men, please. I've been calling my wife all day, all right? I've been calling her for a couple of hours. She's not taking my call. It's very unusual. It's unlike iffy, such. My gut feeling tells me that she could be in great danger, sir. If you could just send some. Some of your men. Yes. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I'll be on my way as well. Oh, okay. All right, then. All right. Thank you, sir. only place you're going to from here is hell, or you will never come back to ruin my life. Forgive me for my daughter's sake, I'm sorry. <laughs> Your daughter's sake? Did I hear you say you came back because of your daughter? I lost my unborn child, my man, and my job because of your daughter? When you get to hell, tell the devil to sit high. Please! Drop your gun! And find out yourself now! Drop your weapon now! Just, just listen to them. Put, put this gun down, Vicky. Drop it! Just listen to them. Please just lower the gun, alright? Keep. Look. Just put it down. Just put it down. From two, Kiari Crescent, Victoria Island. Yeah, we have a situation on our hands here. Yeah. Come with an ambulance right away. Yes, yes, yes. Move, 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 move. Ah! 